everybody, Lee from URC. Uh, gonna talk about what's probably my favorite product, our HDA audio line. It's not just another audio line either. We do things a little differently. Every one of our pieces has full DSP in it that gives you a lot more functionality and scalability than most traditional audio products, uh, as well as we offer a whole different level of audio performance from what most things do. We use ice power amplifiers in all of our units. It is high quality. It is considered to be the best premium switching amplifiers you can buy. It's highly efficient, so we get a lot of power without a lot of heat and without a lot of current draw, but it still sounds really good and is really flexible. We also use a backbone technology called AVB that we share all our audio across our devices. If we're only using one amplifier chassis, we don't need it, but when we have multiple chassis, it's important because it time synchronizes all the devices. In a big project, uh, like say in a house, my great room, I have five different zones of audio in that room, and if I was using a standard analog audio matrix, there'd be no time synchronization between them. And in a larger area like that, you end up with echo around the areas. You know, and if that's what you want, well, great. But typically that isn't what you want for distributed audio. ABB guarantees less than 0.02 microseconds of latency between those areas, between those zones, which is a really big deal. It also lets us share our audio across our network, which is a huge problem solver in a lot of retro projects where, you know, maybe something wasn't wired all to the same area where you want it. You know, not everything's down at the rack, some stuff's up in the bedroom closet, uh, some's in a, in a cabinet in the family room. We will share that audio from every source to all the zones across throughout, when we'll let you group and link them across chassis too, which is very, very nice. So our, our amplifiers, I like to talk about in channels, not in zones. Because it is full DSP, we can split any of those into any use case however we want. So say our eight channel unit could be used as four st standard stereo zones, or this could be up to eight mono zones, or any combination therein. This could be run all as one zone as well. So we have our eight channel unit, our 16 channel unit. These use the same ice power amp chips. It's 100 watts a channel into eight ohm, or 200 watts a channel into four ohm, or 2.66 ohm. We're actually 266 stable, which is a big deal, so I can run three eight ohm speakers on it and it's all channels driven full bandwidth too. So we don't lose power as we use additional channels. So this is real serious power and it's high quality sound too. So eight channels and 16 channels of that means we have more inputs, same number of inputs as expected zones, which is very flexible. And again, I can share across. I also have pre-outs that I can feed into an AVR so I can have the family room zone play the same audio or run it to a powered subwoofer, very flexible. As we scale up through then, we have a small format amplifier. This guy can be PoE plus or PoE plus plus powered, or I can use the included power supply. 30 watts channel in 8 ohm, 50 watts channel in 4 ohm. Uh, very flexible, does still have the crossovers, and I do have a pre-out on this also that I can run a sub. Um, a lot of use case for that is often like a, a spare bedroom, um, or we actually, where we see the most of them used, is in light commercial in a conference room. You know, wiring cam behind the TV. I can fit this guy, I can fit a small nook computer, an Apple TV, Barco ClickShare, et cetera, and run my video conferencing system with the optical input from the TV and the analog input from the conferencing system for the AEC, all built in small format, very flexible. We also have an IO box. This can either be an input, so I could have a remote location source fed in, whether it's audio out of a TV or a turntable or a jukebox. This is very flexible that I can run optical, coax digital, or analog into it, share it back to the system or I can do the opposite. This can also be a zone and I can feed out into that family room AVR so I can share all my music to it or to my powered subwoofer that I don't have any other wiring to. Uh, this, is a, this is a very flexible piece. We also have a big two-channel amplifier and this piece is kind of like a Swiss Army knife because not only does this run regular low Z, 8 ohm or 4 ohm, this will also run 70 volt and it can run mix mode. So if I want to run 70 volt satellites, think about a landscape package or some pendants in a subwoofer, I can run that 70 volt channel and then I can run low Z to my subwoofers because well, subwoofers and transformers are not the best of friends, that it can be very flexible and it has the crossovers for those channels independently. Um, and power, oh my goodness, this is 600 watts a channel into eight ohm or 70 volt or 1200 watts a channel into four ohm or 2.66. So you want some real power, we have it. And it is a great sounding amp uh, from Ice Power also. So this is a lot of power and a lot of good sound. So if I have a higher end two channel room, I could also run it off of this. 
So much like the other pieces we have our audio inputs, this also happens to have a balanced input, which is very flexible. I can use it for um, say like a touch tunes jukebox in a bar restaurant, I can run balanced in, or this can also be two microphones. And because we have full DSP, we can also use that for ducking. So I can have that mic as a talk over for ducking or for paging to page out through. You know, you can call the kids for dinner or call out the Smith party of two, your cables ready, et cetera, all from that built in. And all these amplifiers also can store up to 10 one minute wave files that I can use for a doorbell, you know, let wings let them in play, or I can use it for, um, I can use it for watch the tram car, please. Any kind of triggered audio that it's very flexible for use as well. All in all, really, really flexible line. I mentioned AVB. If you're gonna share between units, you do have to use an AVB switch, which depending on the switch, there's lots of them out there, Extreme, Netgear, Cisco, et cetera, they can get pretty pricey. We do have our own solution. Small little guy, five ports, covers most projects. I can daisy chain up to seven of these and still maintain the AVB standard. So I can grow and scale. The key here is this is very cost effective because this is a, a, a well-priced line that's very profitable. This is also not a crazy expensive switch, so I don't have to ruin the cost scale of the system with an expensive switch we do have around. By the way, we use 2496 high-res AVB, so if you want to talk about high resolution, that's, that's why we do it. It is the best quality audio you're going to get. Great flexible line. I, I am very excited about it. Hope you are too.